Once upon a time, in a small cottage, there lived a beautiful young girl. She lived a happy and cheerful life along with her parents. For her parents, Mila and Saleh, she was the greatest blessings in their life because they have been waiting for years to have a child and to be able to raise her just like any other couple. Day by day passed, she continues to grow as beautiful as her name, Aspalela. She is a daydreamer as she loves to abide by her dreamy ideas and thoughts. Bella, come here for a moment, sayang. Yes, ma. Oh, hey, ma. Can I ask you something? Sure, na. What is it? Mm. Do you believe in fairy tale? Does the fairy godmother, the fairy godfather, fairy... Of course I do, sayang. But here's a secret. If you could make yourself a good person, they would come to you too. But, bear in mind na, for you to become one, you should always have courage and be kind, Ella. Always. Oh no! It's almost noon! My friend is waiting for me, Ma! I must go! I'll talk to you later! Ella, Ella. One day, Mila suddenly fell asleep. Saleh was in a great worry and sadness at that moment. He does everything in his might to take care of his wife with the hope that she'll recover soon and they'll be able to live the days ahead happily as before. As for Aspalela, she seems couldn't accept the fact of her mother being sick, and she starts to feel that her whole world is shattering. What could be the consequences? How would she and her father live without Mila by their sides? Ella was in dilemma. I am very sorry, Sayang. It must be because of my fault. <laughs> No, Abang. It's not your fault. And it's not even anyone's fault. Maybe this is just fate. Ella? Come here, na. Come to Ma. I'm here, Ma. What is it? Please don't leave me. I need you, Ma. I do. Always remember to have courage and be kind, Ella. No matter what. Abang? If anything happens to me, I put my trust in you to take care of Ella. And I love you both. Sayang! Sayang! <laughs> As Palela was stressed and depressed, emotions started to kick in one by one. She couldn't help but to share her feelings with her friends. Hey, Sijomel. I'm very sad and very stressed. I think I just can't take this. How am I supposed to live without my mother if something bad happened to her? Please tell me it's all a dream. Hello. Hey, are you alright now? Perhaps you're just tired. Go to sleep. Everything will be fine. Don't worry. Pa, could you read a story for me? Mm, Cinderella, maybe? You are a big girl, Ella. Can you just read it by yourself? <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, Sayang. Perhaps I'm just too emotional at this moment. Forgive me. Let me read your story. Once upon a time. I'm sorry, but I have to go now. Take care, Ella. Have the courage and be kind. Oh, Ma! Don't leave me! It seems like Ella was living in a whole new world. Her fears become real. Ella, come here now. Yes, Pa. I want to introduce someone to you. Oh, really? 
This is Mak Beda, Muna, and this is Jemma. They will be our family members. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Aspalela. Ew, Ew no, no class. Jemma, Muna, don't be like that. She's your sister. Sayang, first of all, I'm sorry to tell you about this a little bit late. I'm leaving today for my business trip and I can't confirm when I'll be coming back yet. Sure, Pa. Please come back. I only need you. Pa, can you buy for me chocolate, please? I want Oreo and Cadbury. And what else? Uh? All the chocolates from that country, please. Um, Pa, um, I don't want anything else, but if you're willing, can you please um, find me a boyfriend, please? <laughs> I would. Now, Ella's world seems to shatter into pieces. The poor girl no longer lives happy life as before. Now, the tables, the tables turn. Everything is so different. Ella, Aspalella, I'm here for you. Wherever you are, I'll be always by your side. Don't worry, Sayang. Who are you? Do I ever know you? I'm nobody, but I can make your life better. I've promised you since you are little. Don't you remember the fairy tale you created? Are you my fairy godmother? Please tell me. Hoi, Aspalela. What are you doing here? Where's our breakfast? Mabeda, Jemma, Nona, I feel very tired. Can I have a rest for a while? You? I don't even care. Go and make me food. I'm starving. But... Who do you think you are? I'm the owner after my father and you are nothing and I can't make you live. Hey, you... Ella, have courage and be kind. Long story short, Aspalela is in a great state of depression. Sometimes she would talk to herself, but luckily the fairy godmother was there to help her deal with the bad guys. Ella, I know this is hard for you. Here. Shoes? Are you kidding me? I have a lot of shoes. I don't even need one. These shoes can help you, Ella. Like Cinderella, so I can meet my prince and he saved me from this cruel world. Right? You'll understand when you wear this, Ella. No prince, but there is love. Ella, I'm so sorry about our mistakes. Ella, Adi, can you forgive us the... We mean it, Dee. We can start over again as a happy family. Please. Stay. let's forget about our past and we can start a new life. Ella, Na, please forgive us. After this, you can call me, Ma. I'm so sorry, Na. Now, I realize my faults. We are so sorry. Please forgive us. That's how powerful the shoes are, Ella. You'll never be at worse again. But remember that if you take the shoes off, you'll no longer be surrounded by love and happiness anymore. Ella, dinner. Hey, you stupid, come here. 
Find suitable clothes for me. I'm going out with Beda. Hey, Mona. I'm the first one to call her. Take care, Ella. Have the courage and be kind. Ella wakes up from her dream and found her parents in front of her. Ma, Pa! <sighs> Ma, Pa, I thought you left me alone. I have a really bad dream. Thank God, you are still here. Are you okay, Ma? Yes, I am. I'm feeling well now. I'm just having a severe fever yesterday, but now I'm good. Ella, here's a gift for you. This is shoes in my dream. It can turn evil to love. Fairy Godmother gave it to me. Ella, for whatever situation you are in, always remember to stand on reality. But Ma, Fairy Godmother told me that... Ma, sometimes fantasy isn't always good. But the good thing is for you to always have the courage and be kind. And her parents hug each other tightly. From that on, they continue to live their life joyously, just like they once were. As for Ella, she has learned to always stand on the reality while being kind to everyone and have the courage to overcome all the challenges that come through. The shoes as a symbol that no fantasy can defeat the reality. And people need to stand in the real world with courage and kindness.